Hello and welcome to the bonus lesson in the course syllabus section. In the previous lesson, I had mentioned about using a free tool called Xmind to create a course syllabus. In this lesson, I will show you how to create your course syllabus in the Xmind tool. Xmind is a mind mapping tool. It allows you to start with an idea and expand it with more sub ideas in a tree format. This resulting tree of ideas is called a mind map and this tool can help you organize your thoughts or ideas for your course. Let me share with you how to download and use this tool. To download this tool, visit www.xmind.net and click on the free download option. An exe file of the xmind gets downloaded. Let me open the file and run it. As you can see, the installation has started and it's in progress. Okay, great. So now the installation is complete. As soon as the installation is complete, I can choose any of these mind map structures listed here. Just pick any template. We can change the layouts later. I usually pick the default snow brush template because it's really easy. Select the template and click create or alternatively double click the template. Now you will see a central topic. This is where you will write your course code. You will also see three topics branching out of it. These will be the subtopics or sections of your course. For example, for this course, my central goal will be how to design a 100k worth course. To write it, first double click the central topic and then type in the course code. Let me go ahead and write it out. All right. Now that I have written this goal, let me go ahead and write down the steps to achieve this course goal. To write these steps, I double click the child elements and type in my sections. So here are my sections. Intro to 4 design elements of 100k codes. Section 1, course title. Section 2, course description. Now to add more steps to the main goal, click on the main goal and press the tab button in your keyboard. So as you can see, the main topic 4 has appeared on my left side. If you want to make all the ideas to appear on the right side, just select the main topic 4 and drag it towards the right side in the blue highlighted region. You can also change the order of these elements. Simply drag these elements to the required spot and place it in the blue highlighted region. Simple, isn't it? Now let me go ahead and complete the rest of the sections. Next, you can go ahead and expand each section. To expand the introduction section, just select the intro. You can see a blue highlight when you select it. Next, press the tab button in your keyboard and you will find the subtopic 1. These will be the lessons or chapters of your course. For example, for my course, I will have two lessons in the introduction section. Let me write it down. So my lessons are, what is this course about and what are the four key elements of a 100k worth course. For easiness, I'm going to add the word lesson and numbers. So for example, I will rename my first lesson as lesson one, what is this course about? Just double click the previous text and simply paste the new title. If the lesson title is too long, shorten it. For example, I will shorten the lesson to what are the four key elements of a 100k worth course into lesson two, what are the four key elements. Same way, I can expand the other sections. It's easier to name the lessons in order. So for example, when I expand the steps in section 1 course title, I will rename it as Lesson 3 – Best Practices for Writing a Course Title. Expand the other sections with a similar naming convention. Next, let's experiment with the layouts. To change the layout style, you can click on the Format option on the top right side. Here you will find all themes and structures. Click on the structures and pick any of the structures you like. My personal favorite 
is the third layout and the tree structure. I will be selecting the third layout. You can see that the curved lines have straightened out now. Below the structure, you can see the checkbox called multi branch color. Click on it and you can get a colorful visual of your idea. You can even choose the tapered lines option and change the appearance of the line. It's a really cool feature to make your ideas look visually appealing. Now you can click on all themes and you can choose more appealing layouts that you want. There is even an option to upload the custom themes but that is mainly for the paid users. Next thing you can do is to click somewhere on the white screen and press Ctrl A on your keyboard. This selects your entire mind map and on the right side you have an option to change the shape, font and color of the text. You can pick the rounded rectangle which is the first one or any other shape that you like. Feel free to experiment with it. Click on the text and select the available fonts. If you like the default one, keep it, else change it to something like Montserrat. You can even change the branch structure if you want. See, mind map is not just for your course ideas. You can use it to explain course concepts to your students. So always try to make your mind map look more visually appealing. You can download your mind map as an image or PDF and share it with your students. To export the mind map, go to the file menu and click on export. Here you can export the mind map as an image or PDF or Word. For free users, only PNG and PDF format is available. Click on the PNG format to download the image. Keep the default option and click export. Save this image in your downloads folder. For free users, all the downloaded images will have a watermark of XMind. If it's ok with you, you can share it with your students. Else, you can upgrade to their paid plan. Lastly, you can add icons in your mind map. Click on the icon on the top right corner. Here you will find different markers. These are different emojis and symbols that are currently trending. Click on a topic like your course code and select any of these markers. This will automatically add the marker into your course topic. You can select multiple markers as well. The next one is stickers. Hover towards the sticker and select any of these stickers. Pick any of these stickers that is relevant to your title. For example, for my main topic, I found the money sticker to be very relevant, right? So I will be using the money sticker. You can add stickers in your subtopics or sections as well. To save this project, go to the file and click save. The project will be saved as an Xmind workbook in your downloads folder. So this was a short tour to using the mind map tool to create your course syllabus. The best part of using Xmind is that it makes your ideas very colorful. So if you are stuck with expanding your ideas, whether it be for a course syllabus or for your course, use this tool. The best part is you can create images or PDFs of your subjects and share it with your students using this tool. I hope this video helped you to learn how to use a mind mapping tool like Xmind to create your course outline. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Lastly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon to get instant notifications on course creation and marketing tips. Thank you and see you in the next video on creating a complete course sales page.